Hey, what's up guys, Arava here, and welcome back to another episode of our F1 2022 Manager Mod Career Mode here with Ferrari. This is the Imola Grand Prix, round number four. If you guys did miss the previous one uploaded uh, quite a few days ago, then be sure to go check that one out before you see this one. But I've seen the comments, we're back for another episode and be sure to let me know with your like button that you want to see more of this series and let me know in the comments as well but we're going to delve into this so we've got a front wing now that has just been made uh, we got that uh, developing from last episode so that's now in so we can go ahead and probably make a new iteration of the front wing so we've made one iteration we now go to the second one we can get a further sort of improvement on on, on the stats so we went for I think 10 plus here on uh, last time out. But, but, oh, actually, no. I think we used the minus two build time because we wanted to get the front wing in early. So I think we'll this time go for plus 10 and plus 30, 35 reliability. Never a bad thing. And then I'm going to go to, it seems like this one's actually a really good one, 15 to the maximum. So the highest stat we can get this front wing to uh, and that'll be done seven days before the next race in So that's great. So we're going to get that build on. Going to go all through the emails, but I think we should be good just to mosey on straight into the race weekend. Question from the last race, though. Which one of your drivers is better? I'm going to say I'm not answering that. And that is going to reduce marketability. Why? Why? Why did that? I was neutral, Ferrari. I'm not going to answer that uh, when we're going to see how it goes. Now, the, so far in this season, Carlos Sainz has been our lead man. Leclerc has been struggling a little bit in the game with the mod, so I have gone in to try and help him out a tiny bit just because it, it seemed a bit weird that he was so much slower uh, than Carlos so far in the season. And we're going to need both drivers because it's going to be a very hard fight because the Red Bulls are very quick. They're right up there, P2 and 3. So we need Charles to get back to where he really should be based off real life. Right there at the sharp end, fighting for the race victory. So we've given him a little bump to hopefully help that out and make the series a little bit more realistic. But let's delve into, well, Imola. We're going to get this part built and then we'll we'll dive straight into qualifying. Knowledge they got was intermediate and quali, which might be useful if it does actually indeed rain. And it is going to at the end of uh, Q1 then. So that might be useful for... For, for at least quality. I think the race looks like it's going to be bone dry, but the setup work the AI did in practice was horrendous. What have they been doing here? What are they doing? It doesn't make... I think they purposely made in this game, they made it like this so that you were kind of like encouraged to do it, but obviously it's kind of frustrating when you're, you know, sitting, you know, what is it five years into the game cycle and you've played enough of all these mechanics and you just want to get into the, the nitty gritty fun of fun of stuff right now. Obviously, this is all well and good. You know, F1 Manager 2022 when that comes out in the summer and you want to get into every single nook and cranny because it's it's a new game, but that's a little bit frustrating. But anyway, we're going to do our own setup on the fly in Q1 and uh, and take it from there. But this should be a formality. We'll go early because it is going to rain later. So we want to send them out basically straight away uh, just to get that lap in. That should hopefully get us through into um, the, the next session, basically. So we off we pop into Imola. Right, Q2, what we say again, sunny but rainy at the end. Okay, but we can do some more tweaking on this setup maybe just to really fine-tune it. So handling-wise, maybe a bit more oversteer they're wanting potentially, and we're going to leave the uh, the wing angle. So we'll go out with Leclerc. Let's see what... Ooh, sign's pretty good across the board. I don't really know where to go from there, to be honest. That's actually more annoying than helpful. Where do we go? Uh, maybe a little one-click that way, one-click that way. Maybe a tiny bit higher there. Let's see how that one goes for him. Go out on softs as well. Send them out roughly at the same sort of time. But is there some clean air for Sainz? Yes, there is. And is there clean air for Leclerc? Yes, there is plenty of clean air for Leclerc. Right, come on, Charles. Let's see. Have this be a good lap. Ooh, purple first sector for Verstappen, who's right behind us then. So the red ball is looking pretty damn Good, it would seem. We've got... Ah, we keep getting the purple, and then it's snatched away from us. Across the line, it'll be fastest when we go across the line, but then Verstappen comes in five tenths ahead of us. Ay, ay, ay. That is massively quicker. That is massively quicker. They're very quick around Imola. At least Verstappen is. Perez lagged a little bit in Q1 there. He's lagging now. So even though per Perez has been like the, the team leader so far at Red Bull here this season in this, uh, in this mod career. But Verstappen's now finally woken up and coming into play. Sainz beats Leclerc here on this uh, Q2 run. 
But, you know, this doesn't matter. We just need to get through into, into the top 10 shootout. But Schumacher, let's look at him again. Because he's just set a purple second sector. Green the first, so the red boy is quicker in sector one. But he's gone quickest of all. Schumacher is an, on an absolute mad one today. Right, Q3. Top 10 shootout. Uh, and there's no rain. Literally none to talk about. Oh, okay. We actually went backwards a little bit then on, uh, on this setup. That was a... Uh, wait, hang on. That was... Which one was the best one? I thought we had a pretty... Okay. Um, right, so we improved... Not really. That was actually better. So we went the wrong way then on that. We want to go towards understeer then, potentially. And then that... Yeah. Okay, that might be a natural one. So maybe that's where the time... Maybe that's where the time we're going to find is. That little setup tweak there for uh, Leclerc. And then the same thing for Science. Well, he did improve, actually. 95... He likes that setup. 95%. Optimum balance. We'll just keep him on that then, to be honest. So I'll wait a little bit just to give a bit of breathing room with Leclerc and then send science out. And both in good clean air then. Very good clean air. I'm actually going to do this manually as well uh, for the first time here in Q3 just to try and get the best uh, outlap we can then. So my usual little trick is trying to go all the way to N and then bring it down. All the way to N, bring it down and then manage it from there and try and balance it as best we can to get some okay temps in these things. Very difficult to do at the same time, though, I must admit. Can we get that perfect? Yeah, perfect and cold. Okay, I'll take that. Perfect and cold. I'll take that. And good and overheated. That's difficult. That's difficult. Sometimes the computer's just better. Sometimes, sometimes. But perfect and cold, okay. I feel for Leclerc. Those brakes will heat up, I think, as we go on through, through the session. So let's see. He has gone quicker than Sainz in that first sector. But Verstappen ultimately has beaten that first sector for both of us. Um, so the Red Bull just looks like a better package around here, which is fair enough. We're not going to be, you know, we're not going to be the fastest every single track. That would make it quite boring, to be honest. But, you know, we were, were not that quick, you know, last episode. And look what happened. We came back in the dying laps to win the Grand Prix with that great strategy. So that's what it's all about here in this game and in this career mode series. So at the moment, second and fourth. What's Schumacher going to do, though? Because I'm curious. <laughs> is this man going to finesse us all here? He's not even that far off in the first sector. Green the second may not be pole position, but he could actually ruffle the feathers and annoy us. Nick Schumacher coming through across the line. He's on the front row. He's on the front row. He's not messing around in quality. Right, second laps then. Leclerc on his out lap, Science on the lap here. So hopefully he doesn't get stuck in a bit of traffic. Let's see. She looks, I think it should be a clean run. We might catch an alpha maybe quickly. Oh, no, that's Leclerc, actually. That's Leclerc. We're fine. We're fine with Science. And Leclerc's overtaking a few cars on his out lap. He's going to have a little bit of traffic. of the alpha maybe, but might give him a long-range tow. I don't know. But Science is improving, and he has improved to fourth. Okay, that's good. He improved by about a tenth there to get on the second row. That's good. Mick Schumacher, though, with the fastest first sector. What's Leclerc going to do? Can Leclerc match it? No. Schumacher in the house right now, purple first sector. And we are not maybe going to beat him there. Schumacher's flying. He's on two purples. What? Here he is. He's actually attacking the Red Bull, and he goes across. <laughs> I think Schumacher's on pole. He's on pole position. What the, what's Leclerc going to do? Can he beat Verstappen? Yes. We get Verstappen. We've beaten the Red Bull. We have got the pace over Verstappen with Leclerc. But the story here is Mick bloody Schumacher in the Haas has just got a pole position. That is an absolute madness. We've got a 42-lap race for this one around Imola. The tyres, that's going to go about 15. So I'm going to guess it's a two-stop. I kind of hope it's a two-stop just to give us a bit of a you know chance to maybe do something with the two different stints. Um, but we're going to go full-out attack. The setups are pretty good. And, you know, we're 2-4 we're on the grid. Schumacher is on pole. We've got a good chance, though, you surely think, in the Ferrari to get into P1, get Schumacher early. Hopefully, si ideally, science gets Verstappen, and then we can block off Verstappen, because I think he he's going to be rapid, and he's going to be gunning for Charles. But look at that. Driver form, 8. 
That is what we want. That's more like it. That is more, to be honest, isn't it? maybe the form alone is just going to do it for, uh, for Leclerc versus the first uh, three episodes we've had so far. Five red lights. Schumacher's there on pole. Can Leclerc jump him at turn one? Lights are out and we're underway. Oh, that's a good start. Even better from Verstappen though. But he's up into P1 and there goes Carlos Sainz round the outside as well. Oh, and Sainz goes for the move. It's a one-two, but Sainz is swapped and Leclerc's losing pace now. What is going on? He's down to P3. He's down to P4. Hamilton comes round the outside. Schumacher is down to P5. What has gone on there? It was looking so good for the man from Monaco. But he's down to P4 now. And Sainz again leads the way for Ferrari for us. Verstappen weaving about a bit in second place. Leclerc, we need to re-overtake uh, Hamilton for sure. And Schumacher, well, off pole position, down to P5. You can see all, all of us with the worn tyres uh, not liking it too much. But we're closing up to Hamilton. Come on, please. Please, please go for the move. We need to move this down to high, though, because Leclerc is not very good on the fuel saving versus Sainz. So we need to watch out for that. Let's also protect the tyres. Let's play the long game, all right? We're, we want to be attacking straight away, but we need to also watch out for the tyre temps and everything like that. So... I'm going to go to high for Sainz because his fuel saving is ridiculous. So we can stay in high for him. And then I'll probably go medium now for Leclerc. Let's settle down. We're down to B4, but there's a long race. Let's not get too eager of wanting to attack Hamilton too early right now as he tries to get Verstappen. Let's just play this patiently. Make sure the tyres are on a decent check. And we'll see how we go from there. Uh, that train, though, is actually getting quite juicy, you know. Sainz pulling away a bit. But these guys getting close. Oh my. Schumacher went for a move on Leclerc. As Hamilton goes for a move. There goes Schumacher though. What is this? The Haas on the inside. Leclerc defends very well though. Very good stuff there, mate. Very good stuff to stay ahead of the Haas. That's a weird sentence. Um, but he stays in B4. Meanwhile, Hamilton is lurking around, attacking, trying to attack Verstappen. Leclerc, please, please, please stay ahead of the Haas. Dear God. Oi, oi, oi. That's close. It's close again. And he's... Oh, he's through. What is this? What is... I swear to God we bumped up Leclerc. I swear. I swear we have. He, this The mod in the game just doesn't fancy it. It doesn't fancy him being at the sharp end versus Sites for some reason. Schumacher's going to come in. Oh, that's an early pit stop. Oh, Schumacher's wrecked his tyres. Schumacher is 19% tyre wear. We're 42. We're loving life with Leclerc. We're loving life with the tyre wear. So we're good. Sainz pushing on. What's the tyre wear for Verstappen saying? Surely he wore them out a little bit. 40%. Or actually, we've actually got worse tyre wear than Verstappen. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We're going to push on for one. I think, I think I'm going to push on this next lap as Hamilton is pushing now. Yeah, Hamilton's pushing. Let's push with. Ha Let's push now for one lap, and we're going to come in on this one. I don't care where Verstappen comes in. I'm going to come in with Sainz on this next lap. Pit in, medium, balance pit stop. Let's go. Two tenths gained. Warm tires for Leclerc, thirty percent. That's fine. We can probably go on for one more lap with Leclerc. Then that means I would say balance pit stop. Sainz, good pit stop for him. No mistakes there for the pit crew, and we'll push on on the out lap like that. And see what we can do. Meanwhile, Leclerc. Let's see. Hopefully, one tenth gained. A bit more on the second. Ooh, only two tenths. Not as great as an in-lap. But he has actually closed up to Hamilton quite a fair bit there. But he got over... So, uh, he might have a chance. If the pit crew is good enough, they could jump Hamilton. Please. Please, Ferrari. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. No. Okay. Where is... Verstappen then. Verstappen is... Oh, Verstappen's exiting. Where is Sainz? Where is Sainz? Sainz is massively behind. He must have got held up. Oh, he is held up in traffic. Oh, no. The traffic. The traffic's done it for him. Sainz gets past these guys eventually. But the traffic really did not help him. Right, Leclerc making moves. Overtake mode galore. Trying to get past everyone. Please, please. There we go, Leclerc. Lovely. P4 for Leclerc. Two seconds behind Sainz. Sainz now, your turn to push. And it's Leclerc's time to calm it down a little bit with the fuel. Stappen sending some purples. We're sending some purples as well, though. A lap 17. Verstappen just keeps on setting fastest laps out of fastest laps. Don't know where he's getting this pace from. And where's tyre wear is at, for that matter, if he's got that much pace. Leclerc, we really need to save fuel. He's minus 0.64. So I'm going to do that now because we've only got Schumacher attacking us. So we may as well save the fuel at this stage. 
I, I don't want to say it, but it looks like Leclerc's fighting Schumacher. It was the fight for the front row, but it's only for three and four right now. Sainz looks like the more likely man to do anything versus Verstappen, but he's only three seconds up the road from Leclerc, to be fair to him, to be fair to Leclerc, and he's 5.2. Verstappen is just in a world of his own, so he may have not been there in quali, but eight, eight on the current form. Verstappen is flying, and it's going to be very difficult to try and do anything with him, unless there's maybe some jeopardy at the end with tyre, where I don't know, but there's no rain to help us out this time around. So fair and square, Verstappen is looking very good right now. Right, Mick Schumacher just set the fast after the Grand Prix, and in doing so, overtook Leclerc, but we're saving fuel with him massively. So that's not a bother to me right now, because we'll come back at him. We will. If we don't, that's going to be a bit embarrassing, but we will. But Mick's flying right now. He's pushing like a stab rat with the higher fuel mode as well. So that's, that, you know, there's no point fighting him right now because he's he's trying to catch up to science, which he might do, but he's now burning his tires out. And we know the Haas is bad on the tire wear. So, you know, he's already massively like, what's that? 43% versus 56 for Leclerc. Hamilton 72, but I think he already pit again, I'm pretty sure already. So, and we're getting that fuel down eventually with Leclerc, which is good. Right, we're pushing a little bit with science, sending some new PBs, but the gap stays at 5.7. Verstappen is actually just unreal right now. He keeps matching us. But his tyre wear is a lot worse. 4% worse than Sainz. So that might account for something towards the end, I don't know, of this stint. Um, but this is proving... I'm just trying... I don't know what else to really try with Sainz. It's really just now down to him to try and pull up the pace a little bit. Because I've got overtake mode on. I can't do overtake mode for ages, though. So, And Leclerc's just overtaken Schumacher because Schumacher's come in for a much earlier stop. So there you go. We're calm. And we're good on fuel now with Leclerc. So that's also promising as well. Right, Verstappen's conserving his tyres... He's on 30% wear. We're on 29 now because I try to push a little bit to catch him up. And we've not really caught him up. We caught him up by maybe three tenths. Basically, I went to push attack for like two seconds. And we gained three tenths. But now we're back down to normal. So it's tough. It's very, very tough. Leclerc's now finally good on fuel. That's good. So we can go to... Actually, you know what? We'll save more fuel, Leclerc. Because we're, uh, uh, we're going to need every ounce in the last stint to push on. P4. So we'll, have, we'll be in clean air just about. Just about. I think I want to play a bit of chicken with Verstappen, though, and go longer. So I'm going to conserve the tyres. I want to go one lap longer this time than Max, because he we got held up in traffic by Science. Uh, we got held up in traffic last time with Science. Uh, this time, I don't want to be held up in traffic. So I want to... Ooh, but our tyres are worse now. They're 1% worse. He's pushing, though, to be fair. His tyre will come in to check. I don't know. Oh, it's still going on. Both of us are just going on and on and on. Leclerc could actually benefit a lot from this. Let's go now. Push now with Leclerc. Maybe come in this lap with Leclerc. If Verstappen's not going to pit this lap, then I might come in with Leclerc. He would have said coming in by now. So, yeah, let's pit him with Leclerc now and try and j do something with him, first of all. And we'll, s we'll, keep, we'll keep Verstappen covered with science, effectively, is what we're doing. Because Verstappen stays on, stays on. Yeah, he stays on. Right, let's carry on. Let's cover him off. Let's cover him off. Because we're gaining a bit of time here, you know. We're gaining a little bit of time. Whereas with Leclerc, we pushed in. It's been a good in lap there, hopefully. Now come in. Good pit stop. And now push flat out on this lap. Try and see if we can do anything. Meanwhile, with signs of Verstappen. Is Leclerc in, in traffic? No. Don't think so. No, okay. And he's, he's only that much further down the road than Schumacher. So that's pretty good, actually. So, okay, that's good. That's good. Hamilton, he's going to have to pit. Verstappen's coming in this lap now. Is he pushing? No. Oh, he's somewhat pushing. Right. Let's go like that and match him. Let's just match his strategy. But we're actually on higher fuel because we can afford. I know it looks bad with science on the fuel, but he's so good at fuel saving. We'll just save it, in the, we'll save it later on. Because I just want to keep on Verstappen if we can. Right. Into the... Oh, yeah, yeah. I almost didn't say pit in. And then low fuel. Let's go. In. Same fuel. Verstappen's in and out already. And Sainz is out now. Pushing. And he is still P2. And Leclerc is what? Well, let's see what is by the end of the lap. What's that? 10 seconds. So... 
Uh, did we really? I think we gained maybe one second on science, but not really that much. That is really annoying. That is frustrating as hell. Right, with science, I'm now going to go low fuel for a bit, save fuel, um, and go neutral because I want to. I want to have enough in the tank for the end of the race. Well, actually, should we just go now and save fuel at the end? Maybe we should go now and try and get Verstappen whilst he's slow. Verstappen's saving fuel. We should attack now. That's the time to attack. Right, Verstappen's no longer saving fuel. And he's now attacking on the tyres to get temperatures up. This man's good. Verstappen's good. Verstappen's been very good this race. Fair play. He's been very good. There's no way I can outmanage this. There's no way I can outmanage this. I, there, there's a point where in, a ma in management that there's only as much you can do. The rest of it has to be the driver, uh, our AI driver. And uh, yeah, we just don't have the car this episode, this race, to, to get him, to match him. Oh, Latifi's crashed. Yellow flags. Latifi's crashed. Please. Latifi crashing means a safety car. Please. 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 No. No safety car. No safety car. Oh, come on, FIA. Come on. What are you doing, FIA? Lap 41. We're on the last lap of the Grand Prix. The gap is 3.2. So Verstappen has been struggling a little bit at the end of this stint. But we're on to the last lap now. And it's been all Verstappen, to be honest. We are gaining with Sainz. We are gaining with Leclerc. But he's not got the fuel. So we have to go low fuel, actually, with Leclerc. Otherwise, he might conk out. Schumacher's done very well. P4 on the Haas on a, on a three-stop. Very good from him. But, yeah, Sainz pushing like a stab rat, but just not enough pace and not enough laps, really. If there's more laps, maybe, we may have caught Sainz up because we uh, may have caught Verstappen up because we've got really good tyre wear, but just needed more laps, really, because, obviously, we're gaining so much here right at the end, 2.7. We just needed more laps like this. We needed way more laps like this. Way more laps. Now the tyre's overheating, so across the line, P2 and 3. It's a double podium. you you gotta you got to rate it because Perez... Finishing P6. So a double podium is actually very, very strong. You can't win them all. Science has done well. Leclerc, I'm happy he's on the podium now. He's finally got a decent race under his belt. Schumacher, though, star of the show in P4. What a man. What a lad. But, yeah, we were gaining quite rapidly on Verstappen there at the end. But the only reason we were was because we put attack and all the fuel at all at the same time. Obviously, if there were more laps, that wasn't going to be sustainable. So, you know, maybe it looked like if there was more laps, we could have actually got him for the win. But in hindsight, actually, if you really think about it, eventually, as my tyres were, they were overheating. So I would have had to cool them down and we would have lost pace. So overall, I think Verstappen had the measure of us that entire race, unfortunately. So fair play. Strong double podium, though. That's good. So it's the second place and third place trial trophy for us today but Sainz is still in the lead Verstappen gains a lot though and jumps up to P2 Leclerc jumps up to P5 I'm happy to see that I'm happy to see that and we are now two two points off Red Bull in the constructors we're getting there we get this is gonna be a close fight though this is gonna go to the end of the season I'm pretty sure this is definitely going to the end of the season the way it's going the boss overall though is happy with that so guys if you have enjoyed this one hit that like button let me know what you thought in the comments below like I said if you want to continue to see episodes come out of this series then let me know and vote with your like button smash that and if you're on your own tier then do get subscribed for weekly formal on content I've been Ariva I'll see you guys next time goodbye